All right, this is a quick tip video uh, for people that make uh, do 3D printing, maybe in the garage or in a place in the winter time or in a cold climate that isn't as uh, temperature controlled as they'd like. Uh, a lot of times a recommended uh, temperature for you know 3D resin printing is around you know 60 to 7 degrees or above. Uh, they don't they don't recommend printing below 65 or 60 degrees usually according to most of the man major manufacturers of resin. The problem is, like I said, I'm in a garage uh, that has a very thin door. So I'm in Southern California where it's pretty warm, but in the winter it can get down to like, you know, 50s, even mid 40s at night. And our garage isn't insulated and I'm not gonna spend a million dollars to insulate my garage. Um, I, do, I do my free printing on a workbench. So if you're doing it like me in a workbench or an open, or open, open area like this, in a, you know, in a smaller room or smaller garage, it's a, small, it's a two car garage, but it's a small two car garage. It's not this giant garage, about an eight foot, maybe 10 foot ceiling. Um, instead of, you know, instead of just suffering through and worrying about having failed prints, especially on cold nights, I did two things. I installed, <laughs> installed is, installed is a, bit, a bit much of a word. I got on Amazon for $4, two of these. I have one inside in my, next to my 3D printer inside my office, uh, my, my FDM printer, and the one here. It is a temperature and humidity gauge. It's, the humidity is 54%, temperature is 66. A lot of times uh, at night in here, it'll get down in the 50s. And then what I do is, uh, once you target, I got one of these. This is a space heater. It's, a, it's the smallest, one of the smallest space heaters you can get. It was like $20 at Target. It's a Black & Decker. It really doesn't matter the brand or what kind you get. You just want one that has two settings because usually the smaller ones will operate either like at 750 to 900 watts on set, setting one and setting two on the high setting, 1500 watts. You don't want to operate at 1500 watts, especially if you're on the same breakers, your 3D printer or even lights that you have because that's about all that a normal outlet can handle. It's like 1500 watts, maybe 2000 watts if you got a really, you know, um, 1500 watts is what you're, supposed to, what you're supposed to be doing. Your printer and your, you know, like you have LED lights, those aren't gonna to use too much. But what I do is I like to get my little heater here and I put it, I don't point it directly at my thing, I put it on the edge of my table, just kind of shoot it at my table where it's kind of just going in myself. This is just, this is just water, there's nothing flammable. I don't shoot at anything flammable or anything like that, obviously. And I just let it run here and it just kind of circulates. And after, like this is 66, um, even if it's in the 50s, um, within you know 20 minutes, this whole area gets up to like, uh, at least where the temperature, the thermometer is a couple feet above this, get to like, you know, at least 60, 70, usually set sometimes 72, uh, even on chilly nights. And I, to the touch, my, um, my printer isn't hot, but it also isn't freezing cold. Run my printer and I, it has a thermostat. You can set it to turn down, you know, when it hits a certain temperature. So maybe put it in the middle. I've left this overnight. Um, we live in California where there's earthquakes. Luckily, most of the space heaters now come with a little knob that if it falls over, it automatically turns itself off. But for 20 bucks, uh, it's peace of mind, especially if you live somewhere colder. And then I just leave mine you know, permanently hooked up and I just put it up on a shelf up here next to all my surfboard junk. But uh, yeah, that's just a quick fix. If you're, if you're in a place and you don't feel like building an enclosure and you're doing something like in a garage or something or a place, you know, small, a two-door two, 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 two door garage with a, you know, with a regular ceiling or a smaller is going to do just fine. But I just heat the table, I come at the table not too close, you know, a couple feet away and indirectly just heat the general area that it's in and it seems to work really well for me. Um, if you have any ideas or have a better technique that you use, please leave it in a comment below. Thanks.